Remember all the fuss over Princess? Last November, this dog was found starved and dehydrated in the basement of a home in Syracuse. Well, the good news is that she has now been adopted out. She has a forever home. And take a look at Princess now. What a change. Nick Pirro, who uh, volunteers with the SPCA now, has brought her in. She is just gorgeous, Nick. She's, she's doing great. Yeah. She's doing great. Yeah, clearly. Look at the confidence in her, and she's gained a lot of weight. Yep, 30 pounds. Yep. Now, she is the poster child now for a program that you have for Animal Cruelty Much Month, which starts tomorrow. It starts uh, tomorrow. We're... Uh, uh, of course, the SPCA in, uh, in this area is the only one that has uh, certified cruelty officers. Yes. And they're there 24-7 to answer calls. And last year, they answered 1,623 calls wow. in Onondaga County alone. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, Princess obviously is one of the calls, was rescued, and uh, you can see the results. Uh, the program we're doing is called Captains Against Cruelty. And what we're asking people to do is go to the uh, SPCA website, uh, cnyspca.org uh -huh. and uh, sign up to be a captain and over the month of April to go out and collect some money to support the cruelty officer program. Okay. Uh, I'm saying collect a dollar a day for 30 days and uh, if Thank you can you do more it. we'd appreciate it but okay. uh, we're trying to raise money to support the people that uh, stop uh, situations like Princess was involved in. That is terrific. Um, as you can see, Princess is a happy ending. Uh, wouldn't be possible without those cruelty officers. So please do sign up. Nick, thank you so much for coming okay. in on your vacation, actually. Uh, <laughs> now that you're retired, that's great. Um, we would like you to get involved. Let us give you the information again. The program is called Captains Against Cruelty. And you can go to the Central New York SBCA website. There it is, the information is right there.